Hi, I'm Jackie Toops with ArmyWife101.com, and today I'd like you to please help me welcome David Evans. He is the director of the film Indivisible. This is a movie that tells the real-life love story of Army chaplain Darren Turner and his wife, Heather. I spoke with Heather a couple months back, and we had a really wonderful interview together. And basically, the story follows that after Darren's 15-month-long deployment to Iraq, he and Heather experienced some immense struggles uh, after that lengthy deployment, and especially during homecoming, that really shook their marriage to its core. Indivisible is a faith-based film that highlights the story surrounding the central relationship of their marriage. It nearly resulted in divorce, but remarkably, Darren and Heather have enjoyed a Hollywood ending in real life. And as the movie says, the tagline reads, one marriage, one family under God. And today we're going to talk about David's experience with Indivisible, which comes out on DVD January 29th, also Blu-ray and digital. <laughs> so, David, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. I'm honored to be part of your program today and, and, and excited about this opportunity. Absolutely. Well, I'm fascinated about this film, um, but first I'd love to hear a little bit about you. Can you please give us a, an introduction to the man behind the movie? Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, my name is David Evans, and I'm actually a full-time eye doctor in Memphis, Tennessee. Have and, um, you know, so back around 1994, I started writing and directing uh, Easter about 15 years and proof, which really changed my life. This is what God's been training us for. So uh, I pulled together our, our team at Calvary Church and uh, a great little film called, uh, had a theatrical. Uh oh. And. Oh, sorry to interrupt. I'm, <laughs> this sound seems to be cutting in and out. We've had some tef technical difficulties today. Are you able to hear me okay, David? Are you hearing me okay at this time? Yes, I am. Okay, that's good. Maybe we'll be okay now. Yes. Uh, so, um, but we uh, made a movie called The Grace Card after doing our passion play for about 15 years. It uh, was released in theaters in February 2011. And um, it took about six years to put together this project we're talking about today. Um, we put years and years of, of prayer into this project we call Indivisible. And as many of your uh, viewers or listeners know, uh, this movie opened in theaters back in October. And we're just so excited that uh, in a matter of a few days, it's coming out on, uh, on Blu-ray and DVD and digitally. So excited to share this movie with the world now. That's wonderful. And you said it was six years in the making. That is an incredible labor of love. I can't imagine what went behind all of this, especially knowing that you're an eye doctor. <laughs> How do you have time to wear so many hats? Well, you know, I, I just really believe in my heart that we were called to tell this story. And, and my wife and I often remind each other, had we not made that trip almost seven years ago to meet Darren and Heather Turner and, and, and pray with them about the opportunity to tell this story that I believe will have an impact on, on many marriages for years to come. You know, the story probably would have never been told. There's so many great, powerful stories that are just waiting to be told by the right people that, that God intends to, to tell that particular story. So just as my friends, the Kendrick brothers have now with their sixth film coming out in just a few months, you know, I believe that there's a certain calling and Proverbs 16, three says, commit your plans to the Lord and your plans will succeed. And that's been our prayer through this whole process, because um, I have a brother who served in the Air Force for 25 years. And I know what husbands and wives go through because of the uh, almost a dozen deployments that he went through during his career. So just knowing that that chaplains play such a critical role in the lives of our troops I, I just feel that, you know, we've always said no matter what roadblocks we face in trying to tell this story, we're going to keep pushing forward. And now we have this beautiful film that has already touched so many, so many couples and so many lives. And we're just excited about what's going to happen in the weeks and months ahead now that it will be available to everyone. Fantastic. And you really hit the nail on the head because so many movies, they show homecoming and that's the end. You know, it's a war movie and they run up, they kiss and that's it. And 
Military families know it's a completely different story. Um, your spouses come home, you kind of have to get to know each other again. They have to get to know the kids. Uh, everybody's changed in this amount of time. You don't exactly know what your spouse has gone through. And I think what's so important about this film is that it shows that if even a chaplain who is there counseling everyone else on their marriage can go through this and go through you know, the threat of divorce, it can happen to anyone. So I feel that it's it's just amazing that they were they worked with you and they told their genuine, authentic story. And when I talked with Heather, she said you did a really good job of portraying their lives accurately. She felt very comfortable. You know, they you put it on the screen. They made their their personal journal available to us for creating the script, and that made such an impact. Um, we, we we know that life is messy in general, but when you can have hands on the, 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 the notes that they were sharing back and forth and their struggles. It made such a difference in creating the, the script for this movie, you know, and, and at the end of the film, everything's not nice and neat. There's still uh, some things that these, these uh, characters are dealing with, but that's really how it is in, in real life. And while I think it's resonating with so many military couples, we've received so many notes from spouses and, and soldiers just saying for the first time, someone has finally, expressed in a film what we really feel what we really go through and so we feel like you know we, we i think we've done our job i give credit to to god for opening those doors for making this possible but we really feel great about about things to come we're so happy about what's happened already but just excited about what god has in store for these couples will be watching this film well, and thank you so much for drawing attention to the military families. There are so many of us, and many of us go through these struggles silently, and it's certainly not uh, seen on the silver screen. So I think just the fact that you did that really means a lot. As uh, an Army wife who has gone through two deployments, I know the challenges. Um, and his deployment, Darren, being gone for 15 months, I mean, I can't even imagine uh, just the stress that would put on a couple. So I wanted to ask, how, what was it? Well, first off, how did you get to know the story? What introduced you? And then what was it that drew you in where you thought we have to tell this? Yeah, I, I saw some news articles and I was already, God had already put in my heart to tell a story about a chaplain. Uh, but I came across a news article one day about Darren and Heather and their struggle that they faced in their marriage when he returned from Iraq. And I just really felt like, wow, I, you know, I never, the, the chaplain's kind of like, the pastor to the troops. And we know the challenge that are faced, the struggles faced in marriages in the military every day, but I never really thought about that happening to a chaplain. And when I came across that story, I just really felt this is the story we need to tell. And so it was about, as I said earlier, about seven years ago when we first met Darren and Heather uh, and, and prayed about this opportunity. And it, because, of, because Darren is still in active duty, uh, that was really the biggest challenge in getting this story told uh, and making sure that we were uh, doing this in a way that, that honored the military. It's, it's not a political story or anything like that. It's real life. And, and I believe so many chaplains are, are, have already said, we want to use this as a tool for sharing with our troops what they're going to be facing, those soldiers who are just maybe now leaving basic training and coming into active duty. Um, the movie is real, real world, real life, and it's told about a real chaplain. And uh, we want to honor chaplains, and we want to honor our troops in telling the story. But uh, you know, when I when I first heard about it, it really spoke to me, and I knew the story had to be told. Excellent. Um, so you just did mention this is the first film ever about an active duty soldier, which I think is remarkable. And when I think about it, so many of the ones I've watched, you know, it's World War II or Vietnam and the fact that this is contemporary, this is, this has just happened, you know, in a few years, a few years ago, he's still in the service. She's still an army wife. I think it was just so relevant. Um, and it's something that all of us can relate to on some level, even if we haven't gotten to that level of splitting, there's still that struggle and that, oh gosh, you know, what, where are we going to go? Who are we going to go to for help? And I think that this portrayal just, it's very important and it's, it's a very good conversation starter. So thank you so much for pursuing the project. Of course. Thank you. So you had some, uh, some big actors from Grey's Anatomy, which I think is amazing that you had uh, Sarah Drew and Justin, is it Bruning? Is that how you pronounce? Correct. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what the process was like working with the cast? Sure. Absolutely. You know, one, one thing about this film is that, you know, it, it's hard to make a movie about about war, about military, because there's so many things that can go wrong. There's so many mistakes that can be made. But we had a great team of people that came around us 
I, and trying to make sure that we were telling this story not only in a genuine way, but that we were telling in an accurate way from the uniforms to uh, just the, the dialogue and the things that happened. We didn't want it to feel um, to feel uh, cheesy or there's a word we use in the South hokey. We didn't want to seem yeah. hokey to the folks that were watching it. And, uh, you know, I, I believe, you know, one thing that so many chaplains have told me is that it feels so real when they when they watch the movie. And that's what touches them so much and uh, allows this dialogue to open up between them and their spouses and, and other soldiers who watched the film. But Sarah and Justin just did an incredible job. They were able to to, to discuss the, the story of Darren Heather, you know, with the actual Turner uh, family uh, before before we started shooting the film. And uh, they were just all all just uh, so dedicated and, and just I really feel uh, crushed it with their performances. Um, I still cry every time I watch the movie. Uh -huh. but, uh, just, Having Sarah Drew come on, she came on as an executive producer and, and brought in some of her friends and folks she had worked with on other projects, including Grey's Anatomy. And we're just so so blessed to have this incredible team of people who 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 really, I, I think, probably worked on this project for less than they were, would have received for other films, uh, partly because they said, we believe in the story and the opportunity that, that we have here to, to make a difference in the lives of our soldiers and their families. That's remarkable. Well, I love that she brought in more people because it's it's good that they already have that rapport, that connection, that network. And I know that Heather said they were able to meet the actors and it was just amazing. Like I can actually see it at a physical resemblance. I've seen some of the, the photos of the cast with the, the real life character. It wasn't planned. That was just a, a God thing that it happened that way. You know, there you go. Yeah. For a reason, for a reason. Um, so I love that you made it authentic as possible to their story and even to the military side. I know my husband would thank you for that because I can't tell you how many times we're watching movies or TV and he's like, oh, that uniform's wrong or that's, you know, they're calling this guy a sergeant, but that's not right. <laughs> so those details do matter and we do appreciate that, that you did that. So from this experience, do you have uh, like a favorite story or something that, you know, like a really special takeaway or a favorite element? From the process, sure. Um, you know, we had so many people uh, involved in the film that were that had prior service in, in our in our nation's military. But my brother, who I mentioned, who was in the service for 25 years, um, he uh, plays a role in the film. He received the Bronze Star just a few years ago, um, and so in the film, he presents the Bronze Star to the chaplain at the end of the film, and so and plays one of the military officers. So that was extra special to me having him in front of the camera and kind of paying a tribute for his years of service as well. And uh, my youngest son just entered the Air Force a few months ago and has a small speaking role in the film. And at the time he was in the film, we didn't really know he would be in the in the military. I, I, I thought he would be our, our son who would be an eye doctor. But after graduating from college, he, he went off to the Air Force to serve our country. And we're so thrilled that that happened. But Having my brother and my youngest son in the film, who are both, uh, again, having served or are serving our country, is extra special to me. Oh, that's tremendous. That's wonderful. And now, now when I watch it, I'll have to, I'll have to say, oh, right. brother. <laughs> right. That's very special. <laughs> Well, um, clearly you've got a deep respect for, for the military and for the struggle of this family and for the chaplains. And it sounds like that's, that's being well translated, communicated with how you've handled the film, how you've handled the storytelling. So thank you so much. Like I said, it's something that absolutely resonates with military families. And for those of you who have not yet seen Indivisible, you will get your chance because on January 29th, it gets released on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. You can order your copy online at indivisiblemovie.com. And I actually, I can add this to the screen. Oops, of course that, you know what, this was from the, uh, we, we've had some tech issues and I had that in place with our first interview that didn't quite pan out, so I'll go ahead and type that in. So. The movie's already a bestseller on Amazon and it, we're still a few oh, days away. That was not right. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is. <laughs> Let's fix that. Why don't you talk while I type and then we'll, we'll team up on this. The website is indivisiblemovie.com and there's obviously some links there where you can buy the movie. But it's, uh, as I said already, it's a, a bestseller on Amazon already and folks can buy it there. It'll be in Walmart, Target, Best Buy, uh, 
Lifeway Christian stores. So lots of great places where you can go and, and pick up the movie on Tuesday when it's released or order it now on, on Amazon. It'll be in your mailbox the day it's released. So uh, we're excited about getting this film, especially onto military bases where there's not always a movie theater close by or a theater that might have been playing the film. So we're just excited that uh, spouses and, 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 and troops can, can get access to this movie now and begin sharing it. Uh, with their friends and neighbors. Oh, that's incredible. We were stationed in Germany for three years. And so our option for movies was the on-base theater. And I mean, you just get one movie at a time and you know, you kind of had to wait for months before there was something you wanted to see. So I love the fact that you're considering the, the families at bases who don't have access. I think that's wonderful. So yes, you can go to indivisiblemovie.com. You can view the trailer. You can learn a little bit more about the film. And um, I have one more question. Is there anything else you would like to add or say to our military families? Well, you know, thank you for your service. And I just really hope this, this film, when you have a chance to watch it, has an impact on you. And we're just so grateful for, for the, for the freedom, protection of our freedoms that, that they provide every day. And just so grateful. Oh, well, thank you so much. Uh, again, this was film director David Evans of the movie Indivisible, which is coming out on January 29th, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. So do take a look at this very special film. And I thank you so much for your time today. I wish you the best, and thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you. God bless.